Hey guys, it's Audrey, and today I have a very, very exciting video for you guys, which is 40 DIY Halloween costumes. And I worked for such a long time on this video, I actually filmed it all the way back on the 3rd of August. So that has been a very long time that I've been working on this for you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoy it, and I don't want to bore you with this intro, so let's just get right into the video. To be a cowgirl, you're just going to need to wear cowboy boots and jeans or shorts with a plaid top and a cowboy hat. Before you came round, I was ready to slow. To be a devil, just wear a red dress with a pair of stilettos and a pair of devil ears. Before you came round, Ready to blow me down. If you wear any sort of a light colored outfit with a pair of angel wings, you can be any kind of angel that you want to be, and I am being a Victoria's Secret angel. To be a character from Clueless, all you're going to need to wear is a schoolgirl outfit. So I am wearing a sweater, a blouse, and a plaid skirt. Oh, as if! To be Kendall Jenner, you're just going to need to wear your fiercest outfit that you have in your closet. So I am wearing this drop waist crochet dress along with a pair of thigh highs. To be the fabulous Kylie Jenner, all you need is a pair of thigh highs, a bodycon dress, and of course a fur coat. If you and your friends want to be the girls from PLL this Halloween, all you need to wear are black dresses and black heels. To be the sass emoji, you can wear any bottoms that you want to wear along with a hot pink top and just walk around, you know, being your sassy self. To be any character from Grey's Anatomy, all you have to wear are surgical green scrubs along with a pair of sneakers, and this is super easy. To be a pirate, all you have to wear is a denim shirt with jeans or shorts, a bandana tied around your neck or head, and your favorite pair of boots. <laughs> To be a spy, just wear an all-black leather outfit with a pair of black shoes. If your squad wants to glam it up and be the Scream Queens, all you have to wear is a pink or pastel outfit along with some fur and platform heels. To be a witch, you can pretty much wear any all-black outfit with whatever witch's hat you own. Oh. All you're going to need to be a unicorn this Halloween is a onesie, and you can get this at any Halloween store or on Amazon, and this honestly feels like wearing pajamas. <laughs> To recreate the infamous Britney Spears schoolgirl outfit, just wear any pair of tennis shoes with thigh-high socks, a black skirt, a blouse, and a cute bralette. <laughs> to be a 20s party girl, all you're going to need to wear is any drop waist dress that you own, a pair of heels, and long string pearls. <laughs> To be Rosie the Riveter, just wear her classic bandana tied around the head, a denim shirt, jeans or shorts, and a pair of boots. <laughs> to be the seasons, just dress in a way that reminds you of the season that you have picked. So I am being winter, Gianna is being fall, and Carly is being summer. <laughs> To be a cat, all you need to wear is an all-black outfit and a pair of cat ears. To be the girl from Mean Girls who is a mouse but nobody knows what her costume is, just wear a random outfit and a pair of cat ears, and if someone asks what you are, just be like, I'm a mouse. Duh. <laughs> To be 
a SWAT team. Just get a couple friends and all wear black outfits, and that is it. To be a basic girl, just wear any kind of a comfortable outfit that involves leggings and carry around a Starbucks cup of coffee. You see something in my eyes, not overanalyzed. Don't get too deep with it, baby. To be a hardcore biker chick, just wear an all-black leather outfit with a pair of black boots. To be a celebrity undercover, just wear a loose and baggy outfit with a big pair of sunglasses and optionally a hat. To be the adorable Ariana Grande, just wear an oversized sweater with a pair of thigh-high boots and obviously her signature hairstyle. For Minnie Mouse, all you need is a red and black dress, along with some super cute Minnie Mouse ears and red or black shoes. If you want to be a boxer, just wear your favorite workout outfit and wear a pair of boxing gloves. And you can also put your hair in boxer braids if you feel like spicing up. To be a cheerleader, you can either wear a cheerleading uniform or do what I did and wear an all-white outfit with a Letterman jacket over top. To be a beauty vlogger, just be all dolled up from the waist up and then a total mess from the bottom down. To be mean girls, all you have to wear is any kind of a preppy outfit, so a cute sweater or shirt along with a skirt and a pair of pumps. If you want to be a Greek goddess, just wear any kind of a toga, and my sister Clarissa actually did an in-depth tutorial on this last year, so I will have it linked in the description. If you want to be a Bond girl, just wear any formal dress, so this could be a short bodycon dress or a long evening gown with a pair of heels. To be a vampire, you're just going to need to wear an all-black outfit along with some vampire-esque makeup. To be a candy corn, you're just going to need a yellow or orange top and a yellow or orange skirt along with some white shoes. To be Cleopatra, just wear any kind of a structured white dress with a pair of tan sandals and a blue scarf. <laughs> to be a deer, just wear any brown cozy outfit that you have in your closet along with a pair of deer ears. If you want to be a hippie, just wear any kind of a long dress that is flowy and hippie styled along with a flower crown. And this honestly could also double as being Lana Del Rey. <laughs> to be Emily from The Corpse Bride, just wear a long wedding style dress. And if you want a full tutorial on this, leave a comment down below and I might make one. <laughs> To be the bachelorette, you just need to carry around a few red roses and just wear that along with any pretty formal dress that you own. All right, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment down below and give it a big thumbs up if you did. And also don't forget to comment down below what you want my next fall slash Halloween video to be because I really wanna do a lot of fall videos this year for you guys. So comment any suggestions down below and who knows, your suggestion might be my next video. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel right over here to see all my future videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.